hi everybody hope you're having a great day or a great week so far welcome back to my channel i decided to finally do a monthly stationary favorites type of video and i'm really really fingers crossed hoping that i can keep that up for this year again it's only january so we'll see um, but I really enjoyed watching a lot of other people's monthly favorites and I decided to do kind of my take on stationary monthly favorites and just things that I have been using more for the past month. So let's get started. So I will definitely try to hit as many categories as I can and there likely will be repeats in future months just because I am really trying my best to use everything that I own stationery wise so I will definitely be um, probably pulling from similar things or the same things in rotation um, so yeah so again these are just things that I have been gravitating towards and using a lot for this past month they may include new items that I recently got as well as old but goodies uh, items as well Okay, so first things first, let's just dive right into my new planner slash journal. I know, I know what you're thinking. It's not even a month into the year yet, and I had already purchased and <laughs> added a new planner slash journal into my Techo Kagi. So I will definitely be doing a updated Techo Kagi and just another dedicated video for this new planner that I have been loving this past month. And I have teased this on my Instagram. I've definitely shown it on my Twitch channel. Um, again, links are will be down below, but I have not gone over this on my YouTube, so it will be making its debut right now. And this is the Take a Note Planner for 2022. Um, I bought it secondhand, but since it was only one month in, I thought, you know, it was fine. Um, there was really minimal pages that were used, so um, that was great, but it was sold out everywhere else that I had looked. So I have the A5 size, and I think what, basically, I won't go too much into it, but basically what drew me to it was because I had missed the structure that the Hobonichi cousin had um, that I completely love, the vertical um, lines and stuff like that, and then I missed kind of that grid and just the more structure. So the general layout for this take a note is week on two pages. So this is kind of what it looks like and the columns are much bigger than a traditional like vertical planner for sticker kits or for the or the Hobonichi cousin weeklies. So that kind of allows for more flexibility and creativity which I really really love. And then I also like that it has this kind of week at a glance um, situation going on here as well. So again, I got this because I missed the structure of the Hobonichi Cousin Weeklies, but I didn't want to buy another Hobonichi Cousin because I knew that I would not be using the daily pages in the back. And even though they are dated, um, I, I just I knew I wouldn't be keeping up with that and I just didn't want to have that pressure or um, anything like that. So again, I'm still using the Hobonichi A5 Day Free for that purpose. And by purpose, I mean the purpose of journaling without having the pressure of journaling daily in the A5. So here is one of the spreads that I did in the Take a Note, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. So I'm able to use planner stickers. These are from Happy Daya. I'm able to use sticker kits. So I have hoarded so many sticker kits over the years, so I'm really excited that I'll be able to use them. But I can add some creativity as well. So I have some other stickers going on here, some washi tapes, some collaging elements that I could do. Um, so just love that. So that is my Take a Note A5. I'm really excited to see how I will continue to be using this this year. All right, so let's move on to stationary items. So for ink pads, stamp ink pads, I have been loving the Sachihara ink. This is an oil-based ink pad, and I believe this is the color chestnut brown. It's a warm tone brown, so I will leave links for these all these items down below in the description box. But I have just been, I fell in love with Sachihara inks the end of last year because I feel like it picks up on details really well. It doesn't bleed on Tomoe River paper too much, and it's just overall a very great stamp ink. Okay, so don't mind the other two inks. I was doing a comparison, but here is the Sachihara a swatch of this ink. And the bleeding on the back is 
pretty minimal and the ghosting is a little bit heavier um, compared to the Versa Magic chalk ink, but it's really not too bad. And it's great that I pulled this because it leads me to my two favorite stamps that I have been using this month. And it is the Penny Fay House stamp. This one I got from Journal Pages and it came with a pack of three. It has like a single house and then one that's like a cluster of houses. Love, 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 love that. And then the next stamp I have been loving is the With Gratitude. I believe I used the stamp in my A5 Hobonichi Day Free setup video. So definitely check that video out to see this stamp in action. But I just love how dainty the script is and it just adds a little bit extra on any journal spread. All right, so for fountain pens and inks, I have been using this sample from Vaness, and it is the Ferris Wheel Press Candy Marsala. I used this during the holidays because it was the perfect holidays, Christmas festive type color in my opinion, um, and I just love the way it wrote. It was not too bright of a red and it wasn't too brown. It was the perfect in between, so I definitely gravitated towards this ink color uh, for this past month. And then for fountain pens, this should come as no surprise to you, but I impulsively bought this pen near the end of January and it is the Sailor Shikiori Sukiyo no Minamo fountain pen in the color Shimoyo or Frosty Night. So it's my very first Sailor pen and it was definitely a much more of a um, budget-friendly pen because the nib was is not a 14k gold nib, but I just fell in love with this blue color. I love all colors that are dusty, dusty shades, um, so I and I just really wanted to try out a sailor because I heard so much about it, so much good things about it. And the body has this really pretty sheen or like shimmer to it. And this is a fine nib. And right now there is a cartridge, black cartridge in it, but I will definitely be switching the inks very soon. Okay, so for honorable mention pen, uh, I have been using the Sarasa Grand pen and this is a green dark green body and I actually switched out the ink so it's not the grand Sarasa ink that it came with but it's actually the ink from this ball sign ID and this is the Sakura ball sign ID pen in the color green black. I just didn't love this body and also I thought it would just look so much better and more elegant in the Sarasa grand body. And this pen is just much more weighty, so I just love writing with this. All right, so moving on to PET tapes, I have these two Freckles T tapes. And if you are familiar with the journaling and stationery world, you'll know that Freckles T has been quite the craze lately. And they did a, a big, big collection recently and a lot of journaling shops are selling it. Um, I think many are also sold out, but I just, I love it. It has so many, so many floral um, designs that you can cut. And if you're not familiar with PET tapes, they're basically these long rolls of kind of like a washi tape, but you know, it's clear. Um, and you kind of use them as stickers and you're basically cutting your own stickers out. So you can cut this out and there is a backing and you just peel it off and stick it on as you would a sticker. So here is the design. I think why people love PT tapes is because you can get so many designs on a single loop. So this by itself is one loop with no repeat art. So just look at that. And last PET tape, my friend Job, he released new PET tape that he designed and it is amazing. If you um, do not know Job's journal, please check him out. I, it's just so amazing. Like, look at this design. It's so good. This is basically all these collages that he designed and just put it all in a tape so you can have your own collage uh, from Job's journal in your journal. And here's just an example of one spread that I did that uses um, that PT tape. All right, so lastly, I could not do a monthly favorites video without showing a some kind of tearaway calendar. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I have gone 
tearaway calendar crazy and I have purchased so, so many tearaway calendars so I'll definitely be making their appearances in the next monthly videos um, but just wanted to highlight this one and this is the Hemi Curry um, tearaway calendar and what's cool about this is first of all they have gorgeous gorgeous pictures and this version is called memory and it's all these photographs and what's cool about these is you basically lift one and you tear it off and it's kind of like a sticky backing it is a kind of like a sticky note uh, type of sticky backing so it is removable and it lifts very easily so that is really amazing I have this booklet where it just comes with all the um, tearaway calendars. So some of them I have used and the ones that I haven't used, I'm just basically storing them in this booklet. So these are the other photos that were are just so pretty. So here's a spread that I did. I use the Himikri up here, over here, and over here. And it just adds a little bit extra um, something, something to any journal and planner spread. All right, so those are my January 2022 monthly stationary favorites. Um, please let me know what your favorites have been this month and if you have used any of the things that I have mentioned as well. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye. Bye.